This is the Samsung 990 Pro. This is a PCIe 4.0 next gen NVMe, you know, M.2 SSD. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. Let's dive into the review and talk about this. So it comes in three different sizes. There's one terabyte, there's two terabyte, and over the course of 2023, they've noted that a four terabyte option will be available uh, at some point. So what exactly are we getting here with this one terabyte? Well, the actual storage is 931 gigabytes of space, even though it says one terabyte, pretty typical across different storage solutions and offerings. So this is something that you will use with either your 4.0, or you can also use 3.0 at uh, kind of a backwards compatible sort of thing, but it will impact your speeds. The speeds for this one are set at uh, pretty decent numbers. I think the speeds are actually really, really good. It seems like a, for me, a bit of an improvement. So you got 7450 as sort of a read, uh, right? We get up to like 6,900 uh, megabits per second for both of those particular speed offerings. So this is something that uh, as per usual, you would just kind of like screw into your you know, PC around your motherboard, depending on one of the slots you have open for that. Or you can also use it with your PS5 for your next gen storage solutions, which it is pretty good as an offering for that particular sort of thing, if you would like to use it in that kind of way. It's also got support for this new Microsoft like quick start sort of technology that will more utilize uh, faster storage for games to run quicker and more effectively on the PC platform, which I think is a really, really cool thing. It's small, it's tight. Uh, this one in particular does not have the heatsink, so you might want to look at a heatsink type option if you want to make sure that your device is, because they run really, really hot. If you didn't know that, that's this type of you know storage solution. It's quick, it's fast, it's efficient. It's great for you know gaming, moving your files, fast for video and ed video editing particularly it's really really nice you know something that I do a lot of for gaming I guess you know I think it's good I think it's quite performant for your games I think it makes it quick for them to kind of load and get into things this is that next generation storage that is really offering something that feels fast efficient effective useful because that's what it's all about is you want something that is really, really good. And Samsung continues to deliver, at least I think for these storage solutions, something that is really, really tiny and fits into multiple different, you know, motherboard combinations and configurations. I mean, it's so common these days. I just built a new 4090 and, uh, you know, my motherboard's got like, I think five slots or something like that for these cards. It's, you know, that's definitely the direction that the industry is kind of taking when it comes to your storage solutions, because it is something that is so fast and effective and useful. So I'd say this is a really good card. I didn't really have any sort of issues with it. Uh, obviously it's a pretty straightforward little thing that you just kind of like slide in there really nicely, screw in lightly and carefully. And you know, it's basically good to go. You just kind of activate it and you know, you can use it for say your kind of primary operating system or you could just use it for games or you could just use it for file editing which again was a big focus for me, was being able to use this in a situation that was like kind of, you know, hey, I wanna do video editing and stuff like that off of this. So I think that was pretty good. So small, quick, usable, uh, you know, your storage value I think is pretty good there. They give you a few different size options. Once again, I was only able to take a look at the one terabyte, as you can keep in mind that it does kind of get pricier and stuff, but of course those prices are gonna vary depending on when you are looking at buying this particular sort of offering for your PC. So I'd give this a 9.2 out of 10. If you do have any questions about it, let me know, but it's a pretty straightforward thing, pretty straightforward installation. And it's a very simplified way of doing storage in the modern era. And I think it's very effective. And yet again, this is something I rely on personally. I've used the Samsung MVME, you know, drives for numerous years now, cause uh, yeah, it's just kind of the most performant and definitely something that I personally believe in as a quality offering for your storage solutions.